So. Okay. Hi, my name is Josh Tragars. I'm Rebecca Whitehouse. And I'm Erin Wilson. <laughs> We're doing problem C4-53 on page 230, and this deals with comparing the original costing method with the ABC accounting. Access Systems specializes in servers for work group, e-commerce, and ERP applications. The company's original job cost system has two direct cost categories, direct materials and direct labor. Overhead is allocated to jobs at the single rate of $22 per labor hour. A task force headed by Axis's CFO recently designed an ABC system with four activities. The ABC system retains the current system's two direct cost categories. Thus, it budgets only overhead costs for each activity. Access Systems has been awarded two new contracts that will be produced as Job A and Job B. The data has been given has been put up on the board. Question 1 asks, compute the product cost per unit of each job using the original costing system with two direct cost categories and a single overhead allocation rate. Here on the board, we have all the data given to us by the book. To complete the first requirement, we have to figure out what the total cost per unit is, and we're going to do that by using these numbers. The direct labor cost is given to us, as it shows right here. So for job A, it is $160,000. The direct materials cost, as it shows right here again, is $210,000. And the overhead cost is going to be the overhead allocation, as it shows there, multiplied by the total direct labor hours. So that is going to be and to get the total cost, you add those three numbers together and you get And to get the total cost per unit, you divide the total cost by the number of units. And once again, the number of units is down here. So you're going to divide that 546,000 by 100, and you get 5,460. Then for job B, we're going to do the same thing once again. So direct labor cost uh, down here is 12,000. And then direct materials cost here is 30000 And then the overhead cost is going to be this direct labor hour, so 600 times 22, and you're going to get 13200 And you add those all together, and you got 55200 and then you're going to divide this 55,200 by the total number of units, which is showed over here as 10. And you're going to get 5,520. So the total cost per unit for job A is 5,460. And the total, unit, or total cost per unit for job B is 5,520. We're going to assume that the company uses ABC system. So first we need to find the manufacturing overhead for the company and we need to find out all the different activities individually by timesing their cost allocation rate by their allocation base. So the first activity is materials handling which shown here the allocation rate is 85 cents and the allocation base is parts. So for job A it's 15,000 times the 85 cents is 12,750. And for job B, there's 2,000 parts, so it's 1,700. For machine setup, the cost allocation rate is 500. For job A, there's six setups, which is 3,000. And for job B, there's four setups, which is 2,000. Next is assembling, which is 80 for the cost allocation rate. And assembling hours for job A is 1,500, which is 120,000. And for job B is 200, which is 16,000. The last activity is shipping. The allocation rate is 1,500. And there's only one shipment for each, so it's 1,500 for both job A and job B. 
Alright, so we're going to total those up to get the manufacturing overhead for job A. It's 137250 And for job B, it's 21200 To get the total job cost for each job, we're going to add direct materials and direct labor to the manufacturing overhead. Um, direct materials is given to us here for job A. It's 210000 And for job B, it's 30000 Direct labor is also given as 160000 for job A and 12000 for job B. Adding those together give us the total job cost, which for job A is 507250 and for job B is 63200 so get to, to get the total price per unit, we need to divide these by the number of units, which is given here for job A is 100, and for job B is 10. So divide those, and we get 50,000, 5,000, 72, and 50 cents. And divide this by 10, which is 6,320. So for job A, there's $5,072.50 per unit, and for job B, it's $6,320 per unit. All right, for requirement three, uh, it asks, which costing system more accurately assigns to jobs the costs of the resources consumed to produce them? So um, the ABC method is more accurate uh, because instead of treating each product exactly the same, it takes into account exactly how much of each activity the product uses. Requirement 4 reads, a dependable company has offered to produce both jobs for access for $5,400 per output unit, written here. Access may outsource or buy from the outside company, job A only, job B only, or both jobs. Which course of action will Access's managers take if they base their decision on A, the original, the original costing system, or B, ABC systems cost, um, and which course of action will yield a greater income. So if they go with the original system, um, they should outsource both jobs because for job A, it's uh, $60 cheaper per unit, and for job B, it's $120 cheaper per unit um, than the outsource cost. Um, if they go with the ABC method, um, they should outsource job B only and not job A um, because for job A, the, uh, their cost is cheaper than the outsource cost. But for job B, the outsource cost is um, less. So um, the course of action they should take is using the ABC method um, of costing and outsource job B only, and not A. Um, if they do this, they will yield $32,450 more income than they would if they went with the original costing method and outsourcing both uh, jobs. So, yeah, they should go with the ABC method. Once again, outsourcing job B only and not A, because for them, job B costs more than the outsource, and job A costs less than the outsource. The end. <laughs>